Corey James at Bayou Advanced Weapon Systems and I thought I would post this video one more time because I want to explain the difference between a gated cartridge conversion and a pale rider cartridge conversion um, when we're talking about the Remington 1858. Both these weapons are Remington 1858s. They are the Italian Uberte brand, not Pieta. And um, I wanted to be crystal clear here of what the true Pale Rider 1858 really was. Now, 1858 Pale Rider, um, if you saw the movie, it shows Clint Eastwood walking towards the bad guy, right, to shoot him. And while he nonchalantly walks up, fires his, uh, his weapon after shooting uh, the rest of the uh, corrupt deputies, <clears throat> he slowly walks towards his nemesis, pulls out a cylinder. Actually, he pulls out this style of cylinder, the R&D, and loads it into his conversion 1858 and shoots the bad guy. Now, I'm going to show you the difference between a fixed gated 1858, which means this cylinder, yes, you can hot swap them, but you can only hot swap a fixed gate cylinder conversion with another cylinder with already 45 cartridges. You can't swap in a fixed gate these cylinders. The R&D, which is a six shot, or the Crist converter, which is a five shot. The reason this is a five shot, this is heavier duty. You can shoot warmer loads in it because there's more <clears throat> metal between the cylinder walls and that's why I run a five shot versus a six shot in my cowboy custom but these cylinders are designed to swap with this 1858 so you can seamlessly swap between percussion cylinders meaning cap and ball black powder or cartridge conversion in the same pistol zero modifications but the gated conversion you can't swap. Now you can if you have a gated conversion that allows you to swap out the cylinders without a firing pin mod or anything. Now the reason I say that, um, this has been modified, the firing pin has been lowered relative to the shooting gate. The cylinder is a shortened cylinder which means you have to run your bullets in a little bit further than you would um, some other cartridges <clears throat> and um, the reason you need to do that is because of the shortened cylinder because of the gate okay you can still load some really warm and nice loads so you don't need to be concerned about that uh, the performance of this 45 is phenomenal now this truly is a 45 Colt okay some people call them long colts. I hate to tell the purists, but there's no such thing as a long colt. If you walked in in the 1800s and said you wanted a box of 45 long colt, they would look at you like you're stupid. Back in the day, if you said 45 or 45 colt, you got a 45 colt, which is this right here, cowboy load, okay? No copper jacket, cowboy loads are lead, Okay, they're either round nose or semi wad cutters or a conical type bullet, but these are the cowboy loads. Okay, so this, <clears throat> this particular 1858 on this side, like I said, is my true Pale Rider rendition. In fact, it's so very true that even the leather rig that you see here, I had designed for me by the very company that built the rig for Clint Eastwood's Pill Rider movie. This is H&H &H Leather. They designed the cartridge conversion pouches for me. So I have on one belt, one rig, I have two cartridges, my six round R&D 
and my five round Chris converter, followed by three percussion um, cap and ball type cylinders all ready to rock and roll. Okay, so <clears throat> this particular weapon is the, the 1858 Black Rock version. Okay. And the reason it's called Black Rock is if you see the difference between a nice blued uh, period correct finish, this is a more subdued flat. It is not Cerakote. It is a special uh, proprietary coating called Black Rock coating. And it was put onto this, uh, this pistol to give it a, a really lean and mean look. And likewise all the cylinders. Now more so than just <clears throat> a look um, the black rock finish really is easy to clean uh, it, it cleans up very quickly easy to care for especially after shooting with black powder so I'm not going to swap the cylinders in this video you've seen me do it a hundred times but I can swap these cylinders out <clears throat> in about 2.75 seconds on a very good day to about three and a half seconds on a bad day so you do the math, okay? Six and six and six and six and five and six. Uh, in a single rig, you've got a formidable uh, firepower, okay? And uh, if you run um, a five and a half inch, um, 1858, you've got some serious horsepower um, on your belt. And so this is Pale Rider's utility belt, I guess you could say. Uh, this is probably one of my better shooters. Uh, I tuned the trigger down to one one and a quarter pounds, extremely light. And I actually prefer, when I do shoot cartridges in this, I do prefer the five shot uh, 45 um, because it gives me strength where I can hand load these a little bit warmer and get some speeds that are uh, very formable, well over 1100. Uh, 1150 feet per second as compared to the anywhere between 800 to 1000 feet per second in my standard cowboy loads. So that is the description of the 1858s. Uh, this is my Pale Rider kit. I carry both the gated 45 uh, <clears throat> and obviously the non-gated conversion hot swappable. All these cylinders can be swapped into this one weapon, giving you a lot of formidable firepower without having to load one cylinder at a time, old school cap and ball. So this is some serious hardware even by today's standards. Appreciate you dropping by. Corey James at Bayou Advanced Weapon Systems, where we not only build long range and extended uh, uh, high performance um, extreme long-range rifles, we build some of the best in cowboy customs. Whether it's Remington or Colt is your flavor, we build on the Colt 1860s and the Remington 1858s. We can put some serious uh, firepower in your hands, old school that shoots as well or better than new school weapons. Give us a look at BayouAdvancedWeaponSystems.com or Google us on the web. Bayou Advanced Weapons, or CBJ Precision Engineered Rifles, or CBJ Precision, you'll find us. Thank you for dropping by.